point P divides the line segment joining A and B. See A and B. A is two comma one. B is five comma minus eight. So point P divides line segment A and B uh, such that here they give AP by AB is one by three. So AP is one and total is three. So this will be like two. So the ratio is one is to two. But uh, we'll explain in in detail. I'll explain here how we got one is to three. Now see AP. First, I'll find the point P. Then this point, see they told if point P lies in this line, so I'll substitute in this line after finding the value of P. Now, just for ratio, AP by AB, AB you can write as AP plus PB equals one by three. So if we'll cross multiply, three times AP equals one into AP plus PB. So like terms one side if I take three AP minus AP is PB. So two times AP is PB. So if I write AP by PB equals one by two. So AP is two. PB is one is two. So the ratio is one is to two, and the points A is two comma one, and B five comma minus eight. Now here, if I substitute the values in section formula, ratio formula. So to find the point P, the formula is m one x two plus m two x one by M one plus M two. M one plus M two. Then M one y two plus M two y one by M one plus M two. So now if I substitute the values, I'll get the value of P. So point P. M one. M two. And this is x one. Y one. X two, Y two. So M one is one, X two is five, plus M two is two, X one is two, by one plus two. M one is one, Y two is minus eight, M two is two, Y one is one, by one plus two. So one into five is five, plus four, by three. Minus eight plus two by three. So there is nothing but nine by three minus six by three. Nine by three is three. Minus six by three is minus two. So the point P is three comma minus two. And the total P lies in this line. So the line is two x minus y plus k equals zero. And the point is three comma Minus two, two into three minus y is again minus two plus k equals zero. Six plus two plus k equals zero. Eight plus k equals zero. K equals minus eight. So first find the p with the help of the ratio and that point p substitute in the given line. You'll get the value of k.